uh, we need to first and foremost understand to understand these different type of you can say opportunities that are existing today in the context of the fact that uh, most of these uh, opportunities are either related to what i would call a functional need or it is related to a uh, vertical need so you know every type of so for example any company you would hear is uh, comprised of different type of departments right now what are these departments these departments are functional areas where people work so that they are able to do job which is required in that function better so an hr department works at or looks at employee well being right similarly a sales department looks at uh, bringing the new prospects or bringing the new clients into the company similarly the technology department is primarily meant to build the solutions or software which or even iot in cases of iot bring or make the machines work in a particular manner so that uh, you know uh, it can be sold or the company can make money out of it or the company's business keeps running like for example if you're building an accounting software so that you can do financial analysis on it so what's happening uh, especially in the technology world is that uh, businesses are realizing that uh, a technology person cannot be as effective if that person has no idea or understanding of different functions of the business right so uh, i would say traditionally there was a time when what was or used to be have done in software development is that you used to write a huge book of requirements which used to define what is it that the software is supposed to do right uh, today we have reached a point uh, in general in terms of demands of the business where if i am thinking something today i want generally that thing to be built and ready probably in the next few weeks now how do you compress this type of need to solution if the people who are building the solution do not understand the need uh, you know as is so if i cannot think like what a human resources person does it's very hard for me to build technology which is going to suit the users who are actually going to be human resource personnel and that is where the opportunity is like you know like the words that you use fintech edtech that is what these type of companies are trying to close or make the gap smaller so if i want to be in the education space and be a good technologist there it is pretty much imperative today for me to understand what is education business all about how does a you know for example a university work how does a college work what are the different functions inside a college and by doing that i am probably going to be better at implementing things from a technology perspective and would require less amount of training and hand holding than another you know person who doesn't understand that now it is good if that is something that i want to do and i'm clear about it it is not so good to do if i do not have that clarity don't get into it unless you understand that is where i want to want my future to be so there has to be some intrinsic interest in that what i will call domain so if you have interest in that domain then get into it because that domain technology training can help you understand the domain at the same time while you are learning technology so that you do not get into that domain business or work into a company like that not having any clue about how that business functions